Custom alerts is one of the coolest ways that you can make your stream stand out and be more personalized to your own liking. In today's video, we are going to show you exactly how to make these and do them quite easily. Let's jump on into it. How's it going everyone? My name is The King and I'll be your host and welcome back to the Streamloot channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you guys how to create custom alerts for your stream so this can go for your followers, your subscribers, any bits that you get, etc. Now there's a few methods that you can do this. You can fully customize this to be whatever you like and you can make it very personalized or if you're looking for an alternative route something that's a little bit quicker and straight to the point you can download some awesome presets and we're going to show you guys how to do both of those in this video so let's go ahead and jump on into it so the first thing that you're going to need for your custom alert is a animated emote now this is to fully customize it if you don't have emotes or you don't have an animated emote you can take a look at our tutorials where we show you how to fully animate your very own emote it is a well put together video and that's basically going to teach you how to do it you can also commission your emote to get this and if you don't have any you can always look on places like etsy or fiverr to get yourself some quick to use emotes you can also commission an emote artist if you want to go the full customization route but once you have everything in order it's time to jump on in how to do this so simply put you want to head over to your obs once you're in your obs you're gonna have a little bit of inception here all you're going to do is to click on the little plus to add a new source once there you're going to see essential sources and one of the first thing at the top is alert box here you can add it in from here you're going to create a new source if it asks you this is just to make sure the old one is in there and now you're going to have a bunch of different options you see donation merch chair etc so you can set this up how you want I personally take my followers off because we have a lot of followers throughout the stream and sometimes it can get a little bit of spam. So we like to turn that one off. It is all up to you. So let's start off with a standard one. We have a donation one and as you can see we have ourselves a custom little overlay right here. If this were to end up playing on our stream, if we go on to the test widget and then we head on over to the donation section, we can see that this pops up on screen like so. We get a little uh, notification of who has donated and then it goes away nice and fully customized again we teach you exactly how to do that customized uh, alert in our other videos so make sure you go and check it so if you have anything all you simply need to do is to basically click on here where it says no media and you're going to change your media from here you can drag and drop any custom animation you have as you can see we have quite a lot of different animations so let's say we were just doing a standard uh animated emote that we have so we're going to click on this love emote that we have for the donation which is fine again you can use whatever you want uh, you could use the cash for example similar to what we had up there and simply put you just click on done once that is gone and uploaded you can then customize this a little bit more adding a custom sound alert this way you can know exactly what sound is going to be played and you can make this customized to you a lot of people like putting in some of their own voice lines etc whatever floats the boat from here you change the template of who has donated and what amount you can set the minimum trigger and there's also animations that ask you how long the animation should be etc things like that you can customize your font as well to match the colors for this example we are doing a donation so we're going to keep the colors at green but you can pretty much change this to whatever color you want anything that really floats the boat it's all up to you what colors you want here once you've done that select your layout and then that is pretty much it you are good to go and then if you go ahead and test the donation you can now see we have our little Ari the lion and then we have the text that pops up and just like that you have yourself a custom alert so again all you realistically need in order to do this is your very own animated emotes now again you don't actually need to have emotes if you don't have custom emotes there's tons of things that you can get online for example we got this custom bit overlay that you can get so anytime someone shares some bits this pops up instead and it will trigger about how much bits they've given so this is a custom animation that you can easily get online by purchasing it you could again find these on etsy find these on fiverr wherever the case may be and again to simply show you this you can click on free twitch alerts you can go to any of these pages and look for what's available for free of course you can purchase them as well but once you find that you can find some animated things and these are basically going to be your custom alerts you would have to look around to see which one really matches you but as you can see here we have some free to use custom alerts 
and this is more of the text ones rather than the animator ones and it gets the job done so there you go my friends that is how you set up your animated alerts quite simple to do again if you have these animations it's easy to do you can mess around with the fonts and the settings to get it in a nice spot and make everything look good you can also find some of these free to use online if you're looking for a quicker way of doing this because in order to animate it obviously you will need to go into photoshop or vegas whatever you're using adobe premiere pro and animate the emotes completely or commission them i hope this video really did help you guys and if you're looking for a new video showing you how to animate your emotes or how to get emotes etc let me know in the comments down below but that's gonna do it for us i'm your host the king we'll see you guys next time take care everyone